Welcome back students to one more session of your isomerism concept. So in the previous video I have done the bond line structure, I have done the condensed structure, then I have done the skeletal structure of alkenes and as well as alkenes. Now not alkenes, I have done the straight chain structure for alkenes and condensed bond line as well as skeletal structure for alkenes. Now we will be doing this concept. This is this is a worksheet again. Now let us see what is this question 6. This is a quite common question in your CBSE. Done. Draw and name 12 isomers or that have the formula 66H12. 12 isomers they have asked me to draw. Very nice, interesting. Let us draw this. They have asked me <coughs> which, which is the formula 66H12. Now I will pick up a different plane sheet so that this is uh, visible to you all. I picked up sheet like this so that all the structures are here. Fine. So let me take this. Yes. Let me adjust my lens. Yes. Yeah. So first, what is the thing? 12 isomers I need to draw. Let me take the formula. It is C6H12. The first basic isomer which I can draw is start with 1. This is hex, no? Hex because it is uh, C6. But according to formula, CNH2N only. What is CNH2N? It is a general formula for alkene. Done. So the first one. I can write 1 hexene. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, first. So name it as 1 hexene. Now, second, shift 1 hexene to this position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this becomes 2 dash hexene. Don't forget that here dash. Second isomer. Now I need to write 10 more isomers. Let me shift the page above. Yes. Now shift the second one to third position. One, two, three. Now this is three hexene. Fourth one. Now over combinations because hexene, whether I shift from here or shift from here, all the three are over. Now I have to be careful. Now shifting methyl groups. Now what you do, you shift this methyl group here. When you shift the methyl group here, it becomes or this looks like this. C, one more C, one more C. Now you should not forget about the double bond. Where was the double bond? Double bond was initially here. So you can make it here. Now name it. It is 1, 2. So this is 2 methyl, 1 pentene, 1 pentene. Now what are we going to do? We are going to shift this methyl group from second position to third position. Right? So shift it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The double bond from here also will shift here. Now name it. This is 3 methyl 1 pentene. Okay. Yes. So here it is 2 methyl. Uh, I should, uh, okay. Let me make this as 1 pentene only. So later I can shift. So this one I will shift to this here only. So I will make it 1 pentene. I will shift 2 pentene later. How many hours? 5 are over. Let me write the 6th one. Hope the page is clear to Sixth one. I need to write total 12, isn't it? Six more are left. In the sixth one, what am I going to do? This methyl group from here. So total are correct only pentane? Yes. Now from here, I'm going to shift this to this carbon. And the double bond will be there only. One, two, three, four to this and this. Now this becomes four methyl. 1 pentene. Try to make all 1 pentenes then come back to 2. 7th. Now I am going to shift. Now all combinations are over. Now I am going to shift this double bond to second one. Till now it was here only. Now shift it to the second. Double and carbon here. Now this becomes 2 methyl 2 pentene. Okay, now every time this double bond will be here only, you will be shifting the methyl group. Eighth one. Till now we have shifted methyl group and double bond was there. Now we will be shifting uh, the uh, methyl group, double bond will be there only. Right? right. Let's see this. One. Now what three, two methyl we have written? We have written now three. One, two, three, this. Now, double bond is here. Now, this is 
थ्री मिथाइल टू पेंटीन नाउ शिफ्ट फर्दर नाइन्थ वन फ्रॉम हियर आई शिफ्ट टू दस वन टू डबल वन विल बी देर ओनली सेकेंड कार्बन दिस इज फोर मिथाइल टू पेंटीन डन विल राइट द टेंथ वन आई एम लेफ्ट विथ ओनली थ्री टू मोर टेन लेवन एंड ट्वेल्व Isn't it? Yes, right. So tenth one, when I have to write, I can write. Ah, uh, yeah, this combination. See, C double bond C. Now I am shifting two methyl groups above. So this becomes two, three, dimethyl, one butene. Okay, two, three, dimethyl, one butene, one butene. Eleventh combination. Now what am I going to do? This carbon I'm going to shift here. Basically, you are trying all the possible ways. Shift. So, name it three comma three dimethyl one butene. Last one. I'm going to shift the double bond. We shifted second position. It will shift to first position. Now see here. I'm going to try the last one. Thus. Yes, this is two three <coughs> dimethyl two butene. The yes, students done. So hope this is the concept. Twelve isomers have written for the given structure. Done right. So now now what we'll do? We will try to take one more question of this, and we will do. Let us take one more question. So what do they give me? Next question. Let's see. Right. Now they have given me draw and name the isomers of C seven H sixteen, isn't it? Right. And now what is C seven? C seven is nothing but hept heptane or he what we'll see in the formula. Okay. Here n is equal to seven. And let us substitute C seven H. Okay. I think it is two uh, two n plus two. That is C n H two n plus two seven into uh, two plus two. So this is C seventeen. So C seven H sixteen. So this is an alkane. Now I'll take another page, students, because this is not. Now I'll write here. Now I need to write for C seven H sixteen. Draw the draw and name also. They've asked me to name it. I need to name the structures. Right. It's I, I said first of all try to write or leave it in a straight chain. Straight. Just go straight. <clears throat> Then slowly start branching it. First one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is heptane one. Now try to shift this one, this carbon to this. So this becomes one, or you can shift a, um, this carbon to this carbon. Okay, let, let this be here. Shift it to this one. One, two, three. Four, five, six. What is this? This is two methyl hexane because it is only six carbons now. Now, what am I going to do? I am going to shift this methyl group to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what does this come for? This is three methyl hexane. Now, what am I going to do? I am going to shift. This group also here. This will come here. One, two, three, four. What does this come for? Two comma two dimethyl pentane. Done. Just I've shifted the methyl groups because I I need to write all the possible isomers, isn't it, students? Right. Now, next combination. From here, I'll be shifting this to this one, two. This will be here only carbon. Shift it here. This becomes two comma three dimethyl pentane. Right now, let me take turn the page and take this next combination. One, two, this carbon. 
this carbon this in this two four dimethyl pentane one more combination one three c c and c what is this three comma three dimethyl pentane one more possible combination let's see yes so what can i do yes i can try this one two three yes yeah this is three ethyl in ten last one one two three this is two comma okay two comma two again three trimethyl butane okay students right so these are all the possible isomers of your c7 h16 done yes this i'll take out this page i'll take out this page also now they've asked me to write the possible isomers for c4 h10 c4 h10 is nothing but what butane isn't it yes so uh, basically c4 h10 you can just uh, write it as i mean like simple thing it's very basic thing uh, let's start from the first one normally when i have to write uh, butane isomer right <clears throat> you should uh, like you have an idea what to write i'll give you a clue here please practice by yourself it will have two chain isomers that is the C4H10 I will not do it because it's easy I am giving you a clue it will have two chain isomers one is N-butane and the other one is isobutane so try it by yourself students it's easy I am already given a clue you can just make the state chain then you can make the n-butane that is n-butane is normal then you can make the isobutane almost your structure is done but here uh, when you are uh, writing combinations I will just uh, tell you different types how many you will be writing how many types of isomers you get so thank you for watching students it's wonderful meeting you all any doubt please let me know in the comment section stay connected I will meet you again with nomenclature of cyclocompounds